blood flow through the parts. This is our right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, posterior side of the heart, this whole region, left atrium. As we talk about blood flow through the heart, we have our superior vena cava, and we can see the two, the left and right brachiocephalic veins, and a zygous vein draining into the superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, all drain into right atrium. And you can see inside the opening of the inferior vena cava. There's also an opening here, the opening for the coronary sinus, which is on the posterior of the heart. Coronary sinus collects all the blood from the venous coronary vessels. This will be our cardiac veins draining into the atrium. The blood's going to flow through the right AV valve, as you can see right here. This right AV valve is known as the tricuspid valve. See the cords? Cordae tendinae. They're anchored into these muscles called papillary muscles. When the heart goes into the big squeeze, I call it ventricular systole, it's going to push that blood up and out the ventricle right here. This anterior swelling, this region right here, as well as this the swelling right here going into this seminal valve, we call this the conus arteriosus. That blood pushes up and out, pulmonary seminal valve, up through pulmonary trunk to the left and right pulmonary arteries that go into the lungs. Oxygen. This is where we have gas exchange. This is how our, we show the change of blue to red. And this is where the lungs have what we call external respiration, so exchange of gases. So oxygenated blood is going to come back into the heart via these pulmonary veins. And notice they happen to be red, red veins coming back from the lungs. I'm going to turn the heart to a posterior view. This left atria is very good size, mostly posterior presentation. So it's very difficult on some drawings to represent this. So let's open up left atrium. The blood is going to then flow through the left AV valve, which we call the mitral valve, also known as bicuspid valve. These cords, chordae tendinae, is anchored into these papillary muscles right here. And just to note, these little struts are called trabecular, trabeculae carnae. Here's the inner this region right here is the inner vertebral septum. When blood is going to be squeezed and pushed up and out the heart, ventricular systole, that's going to be, I have to tip the heart so you can actually see this one, but it's going to be pushed up and out through aortic semilunar valve. We can only see it on this representation here, the ascending aorta coming up. Now, right here is the aortic arch, descending aorta, sometimes referred to as the thoracic aorta, that literally goes all the way down behind the heart as it 
I'm going to use my hand as the diaphragm. As it passes below the diaphragm, we call the aorta abdominal aorta. This is basically a generalized orientation of blood flow through the heart. Study well.